Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan. It is Friday, December 18th and we are looking at our swing trades. Now the ES futures are showing up about 4 points but uh, let's go take a look at the intraday chart. You can see it was down up to uh, you know 3700 so it was negative for most of the pre-market. It's just turned positive and plus it's not a whole lot. Um, I, I want to take this uh, video to explain some margin issues because there, there, there's some confusion as to uh, you know how this margin system works. So whenever you have a debit spread you just have to pay the debit and whenever you have a credit spread you have to put up margin. So on Apple you can see the BP effect on the final column here. The BP effect is $14,000. So even though it's 20 contracts and I think the spread size is about $7, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the margin effect is $14,000. And as, as I mentioned, I, I look at this as a $50,000 account. So here you have $14,000 for Apple, uh, Facebook is $5,000 and MasterCard is $1,250. Now the others are debit trades and so for Netflix, if you look at uh, the uh, the trade price is about eight, uh, you know, eight. Uh, let's say about seven dollars uh, difference between twenty and twelve ninety five, and so for five contracts that will be three thousand five hundred, and then for PayPal once again, uh, you know, our uh, uh, the price would be somewhere around three point five, so which would be another two thousand dollars on PayPal, and the SPX uh, is a nine dollar difference over here, so that means it's about four thousand five hundred. So overall, you can see the margin being used is twenty thousand two hundred fifty. And then if you add the three debit trades, that will be another 12,000 or 15,000. So it comes up to 35,000. So I try to keep it that way. So just to understand, you know, this is a 50K account. So depending on your account, you can scale up the size of contracts or scale down. Uh, either way is fine. But, uh, you know, that's how I look at this as, an, you know, as a 50K account. And I make sure that it doesn't go over that. Uh, generally, I leave at least $10,000 for as, a, you know, gunpowder if we need it for adjustments. Now today you can see PayPal has done up has gone up very well and you know both these are deep in the money now. PayPal is at 236. So yesterday we had a great trade on Shopify. Uh, uh, Shopify made another $600 after the open so it was a $3,500 trade and today we've got PayPal should be about $2,100 or so. So let's close PayPal and being a Friday and, and the futures are looking iffy we won't take a trade today. Uh, we'll just let all of this develop. Now Apple has uh, recovered quite well. Uh, we just need about two, three hundred dollars more for break even, and there's a lot more premium than that, and it's sitting right in the middle there. Uh, Facebook, we've recovered. I mean, uh, we booked twenty three hundred, so we've got just two hundred to go. Uh, Mastercard, we've recovered about twelve or thirteen hundred, so uh, not much there also. So all of these are doing well. Netflix is doing well, and we'll close PayPal today, and we'll let the SPX trade develop. No new trade today. Have a great weekend, folks. Thanks.